The American Bar Association, Rule of Law Initiative, in collaboration with the Institute for Human Rights and Development in Africa and Law Hub Gambia, on Friday launched a book titled The Gambia in Transition Towards a New Constitutional Order, published by the Pretoria University Law Press. Speaking at the event, Dr. Satan Nabane, co-editor, gives an overview of the book. Part of our motivation was obviously coming out over two decades of brutal leadership and uh, embarking on uh, an ambitious transitional justice process, um, which we also recognize that um, a new constitutional framework should really be the foundation that um, will, uh, especially for genuine uh, democracy, uh, will be anchored in. And so um, in terms of you know, we, we, we recognize that, um, especially in terms of literature and related to Gambia around constitutional law, obviously we do have uh, quite, a, quite a number of uh, um, these publications, but also recognizing that um, globally as well, there is growing uh, literature, especially um, in terms of normative principles um, around uh, the study of democratic consolidation, which um, we realize has, in, the, in a way as well, um, underestimated the potential, for instance, uh, for the emergence of a uh, democratic political consensus in developing democracies like the Gambia, especially smaller countries uh, like the Gambia. In his keynote statement, Honorable Hassan B. Jallo, Chief Justice and President of the Supreme Court of the Gambia, says the judiciary has already concluded two major criminal trials involving nine NIAs and Young Baturi as part of the accountability process. It has cleared an important constitutional issue relating to immunity from prosecution in the Young Kubaturi case. We anticipate that the implementation of the TRRC recommendations will result in a significant number of criminal cases being filed before the courts. In anticipation and in preparation for this increase in the workload and the need, therefore, for the speedy and efficient disposal of any such cases the judiciary has proposed in the context of the estimate for next year, 2023, the establishment of a fully fledged special criminal division of the High Court, which would be assigned all cases arising from the TRRC process. We look forward to the judiciary being provided with the necessary resources accordingly in its 2023 budget from January. He adds that the book includes important analysis and discourse on the role of the media and civil society organizations. The estates that amplify the voices of the people that serve as conduits between the government and the gov governors and hold duty bearers accountable for the course that they take to fulfill. I would like to compliment the editors and the authors for their excellent work and recommend to all Gambians, indeed to all persons, to read the book and engage in it. Professor Abdullah Sin gives commentary on the book. Because it comes at a time when Gambians are weeping over the deaths of 69 children who took some foul portions or poisonous portions that uh, ended their lives, unfortunately. All these and many others call out loudly and clearly for strengthening social and economic rights for all citizens, not only in the Gambia, but throughout the global uh, system. This book is also a critique of economic globalization, which had been predicated on neoliberal presumptions. And I don't have time to get into all that. But I'll just say, it is refreshing that all these are happening as backdrop to the publication of this book. We are also witness to the many cataclysmic climate changes that have brought the entire globe. Moreover, Professor Franz, Director Center for Human Rights, expresses delight to see their students being part of the authors. So the center provides uh, human rights education and we run a master's and doctoral programs. And um, it is really heartwarming uh, for me to see that, uh, you know, students, people who study with us go on to contribute as scholars 
to the human rights scholarship that we so uh, um, direly need in Africa, but not just in a general way, but in a very practical way, in a way that speaks to contemporaneous and current issues. I am gratified to see that two of the editors, the co-editors are um, holders of master's doctoral degrees from our center, and actually seven of the 11 uh, co-contributors, some of them are here, Ismene, uh, uh, Mr. Ba, and uh, Nji, and obviously uh, Dr. Satang herself. The book has 12 chapters that bring together diverse contributions from scholars and practitioners that provide context, specific understandings of the past, ongoing and future efforts of constitution making and evidence-based realities. Reporting for Kerfatu, I am Fatsila.